Get it off, get it off, get it off. Because we here now. Tory season. Trying to send out these notifications. Because, you know, y'all always complain. Y'all ain't get the notifications. The weather's getting nice out here. So, as y'all know, we here for the current events. Choke No Joke Live this is what we do. All right. Shout out to all the Choke No Jokesters in the building. All right. We got some Diddy news tonight. We got some Tupac news, some Suge Knight news, some Death Row news, some Dirty Cop news, some Big Cry Baby bitch ass nigga news. It's a lot in the news today. Well, I ain't go live yesterday, so I guess I'm catching up. All right, cool. I'm good now. All I got to do is turn this Instagram on and we could get officially started. For all those out there that didn't know that I got a new Instagram, it's Real Choke No Joke. You see it right here? Real Choke No Joke. Right here. Real Choke No Joke. Please follow me. All right, we all good now. So today... It's, I got a lot to talk about. Jesus, I got a lot to talk about. Instagram, I'm live on YouTube. If you ain't know now, you know Choke No Joke is back on the gram. Okay, okay. All right. My man, Whack on Wood. Whack on Wood. Gonna walk, walk on wood, walk, walk on wood. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know Agua, my favorite drink. Ran through it all's in the building. AC's in the building. All right, membership gang. Talisha Renee in the building. Perry Jones here. Joel King as well. Kim Gay, CJ's in the building. And we in here. All right, my baby Michelle Jess is in here. Mike Miggity. All right, Fred Jenkins in the building. 
Rasson's in the building. Payday's in the building. Who else in the building? B Dog in the building. What up? A man of God in the building. For always and forever is in here. Each moment with you. Who else is in? Black is beautiful is here. Anthony Pearson is here. The G Day is here. Shard is in the building, of course, you already know. Sarah's in the building. Replay Queen. I right, Tay, what up? JT in the building. Appreciate you, JT. Is Glow still sitting in jail in Georgia for DUI? I don't know. I'm going to go bail out, though. Let me go bail Glow out. When they call her for a bail get paid, when a bail get paid, they're going to be like, on bail, Glow. <laughs> on bail, Glow. On bail, Glow. On bail, glow. You're going to see her come walking out the cell like, on bail, glow. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. On bail, glow. Yeah, to all y'all in here that was hating. On bail, glow. <laughs> I don't know, but we, we will see. But yeah, as y'all know, it's been reported. That my little girlfriend, Glorilla, and got locked up, DWI. She's on her way to see me drunk. I'm going to fuck you up, nigga. I'm going to punch your ass, show. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh-huh. See? Drinking. All right? You already know. But, uh, yeah. Poor little Glorilla got caught for DUI. I don't know if it was alcohol or some type of narcotic or marijuana. We don't know yet. We'll see in a second. Let's see if they updated that story. <laughs> they said her titty popped out during the stop. Oh, she got caught in Gwinnett, too. She must got her little boyfriends out here in the A. Uh, they ain't got no news. Let's see if they got a... I want to see footage. That's what I want to see. Uh, they ain't got no footage of the rest. They ain't no need. Well, we do got the mug shot. Let's see the mug shot. Oh, it might have been the alcohol beverage. There you go, the mug shot. Let me see what the... Did a... Uh, did she have a nip slip or she was trying to entice the officer to let her go? <laughs> Come on, officer. Look at these cute little titties. Let me go. <laughs> Glorilla found herself in a jail cell this week after cops busted her for DUI. 
and she apparently had a wardrobe malfunction while this all went down. According to a police report, the rapper was arrested and booked early Tuesday morning on suspicion of driving under the influence, consuming slash possessing an open alcohol beverage container and a separate traffic charge in Gwinnett County, Georgia. She was hauled into jail around 6, 12 a.m. and bonded out a few hours later. A booking info obtained notes that one of her aliases is Hallelujah, which is her legal middle name. Her mother named her Hallelujah? As for what exactly happened here, cops say they saw a vehicle making a U-turn at a solid red light around 4 a.m., so they pulled the vehicle over to see what was what. The officer who took the report claims he smelled marijuana and alcohol emanating from the car and claims Glorilla told him she'd been drinking that evening, but he explained she wouldn't say how much she had consumed and insisted she was good to drive. The police say they then administrated a field of sobriety test, which they claim Glorilla was shaky on, especially staying on her feet. They put her through the ringer, it seems, making her They put her through the ringer, it seems, making her to do the eye follow test, the walk and turn, one leg balance, walk in a straight line, etc. On the judge on just about all of them, the cops claim she bombed. Finally, they got to the breathalyzer which the police claims she refused to submit to. During the whole back and forth, the cops say Glorilla's breast slipped out from under her clothes, which he had to tell her about. In the end, Glorilla got arrested, and the cops say an associate came to pick her up. Associate came to pick up her vehicle. Yeah, I know we're going to see the uh, body cam footage on this in a minute. What's interesting is that Glorilla herself hasn't shown any indication she ran into legal trouble. Her Instagram is full of people twerking their asses to her and making this stallion's new wannabe song. Business as usual, in other words. We reached out to Gorilla, Glorilla. So far, no word back. Damn, Glow. Damn, Glow. They had you on the cold floor. Damn, Glow. You had them handcuffs on. Damn, Glow. Now, I don't understand how she get the smile in her mugshot. Because whenever I got arrested and I tried to smile in my mugshot, the police get angry that you smile. And they tell you, don't smile. You better not smile. So I don't I don't get it. How was she able to smile in her mugshot? And they don't let men smile in their mugshot. They will not let you smile. They want you to look mean. So... When they, whenever you, what you call it, uh, whenever you ever get in trouble and they got your mugshot, they don't want it looking like hers, but you all smiling and cheesing and they want you looking like. So they be like, this is the guy we looking for. And then they post your picture up and you be like, looking like a hardened criminal and shit. I'll tell you, since I remember one time, when they took, went to take my picture, and I was like, <laughs> the cop was got messed. So stop, stop to fucking smile. You think it's funny? Stop fucking smiling. Rough me up and shit to make me take a, a picture that make me look like I'm rough or a gangster or something. They don't want you to smile in your in your uh your mug shot. Ask anybody that been arrested for whatever and tried to smile. They will get mad at you for trying to smile. It's crazy. So let me get to this next story. Free glow. Free glow, Rilla. Free glow. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. 
Hold on, Instagram. Don't go nowhere. I need to get this link. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Let me see. Trying to find this joint. Is this it? Yeah, it is it. Is this it? Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, the date on this one day ago. Oh, that's one hour ago. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm back, Instagram. All right, so what's going on now? As y'all can see, Sean got them. Y'all know I, I haven't talked about Sean. I, you know, Sean is uh, speaking out on Diddy. He's getting, it looked like he's getting pressure from uh, the Brit, uh, the Belize uh, government to speak on the Diddy situation. So Sean finally speaks on the Diddy situation. Uh, the Club New York incident. And this is not good for Diddy at this time. Not at all. Right? Not that Sean is changing his tune or anything because he's always maintained that, you know, Diddy did it. But when he came home, he kind of like forgave Diddy and stopped talking about it and not wanting to like throw Diddy under the bus now that, you know, he's home. But Here's what Sean got to say today, right? Uh, I'm using this under fair use. So you know that the copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teacher scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit education or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. All right? So we are here to criticize and comment on this, all right? Let's get to it.
For the past few weeks, dark allegations and civil lawsuits have swirled around American entertainment mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. And one name that keeps coming up is Shine Barrows. And of course, it would. He served nearly 10 years in a U.S. prison for a shooting in a Manhattan nightclub where one woman was shot to the face. That woman has constantly claimed and is now vocally restating her claim that it was Diddy, not Shine, who shot her. Barrow refused to speak about it at his last press briefing in late March and says he has declined dozens of requests from international press to discuss it. And he declined again today during the press briefing. But at the end of it, conceded to make some comments. His first since Diddy's name became immersed in scandal. It is, it opens wounds um, when you hear, um, you know, the victim saying that it was Diddy that shot her. That is what is the most remarkable. Oh, you didn't see that? I saw that. Okay. And that was triggered by a lawsuit from a producer that produced on the Love album who is making accusations. And in those accusations, he says that the gentleman confessed to the shooting. And that is what stands out to me the most because, you know, I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward. Uh, and so, um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy, um, but my political enemies and, you know, detractors tried to make me into, you know, this criminal. Um, but everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the fall. Everyone knew that that was the story uh, for all the years but until I got court and never really pointed the finger at Yes, but what, so what I'm saying is that was a decision that I made as a young man. And I'm not saying, I'm not going back on that. I'm not about to point the finger, no. I'm not going to get into that. Well, others are doing it, sir. I'm just saying that I maintain my innocence all this time. I said I was defending myself. I didn't get into who did what. Um, but the victim is telling you who did what. And another, I, I understand that there are other witnesses. Is she, is she accurate, sir? I'm not going to get into that. But it does open wounds. And um, certainly, I am relieved that uh, people are saying what the truth is. That, you know, I did not uh, shoot um, those people. So, according to Barrow, he has been vindicated after spending a decade in prison. But he never held it against P. Diddy, with whom he has publicly reconciled with in recent years. Puff, you better get your affairs in order, brother. You can't go to jail, bro. You get ready to go to jail. You get ready to go to jail. Sean already knows what's ahead for him. What's ahead for Sean is a talk with the federal government in New York. And they're going to offer him a motherfucking reversal on his sentence. And he's going to have his uh, United States um citizenship restored mark my words watch what happens watch what happens they gonna overturn sean's conviction and they're gonna give him his uh united states united states citizenship back and then they gonna federally put that shit on, 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 on Puff. Watch. Watch what I'm telling you. You watch what I'm telling you. Deshaun is a chameleon. He damn sure is. 
That nigga Sean could turn to anybody. You drop that nigga in, in China at the mall. That nigga be dressing, looking like Bruce Lee. With Bruce Lee's accent. But, um... Oh, Diddy, you screw, bro. You are so screw. And now Sean's a politician. It's going to be so easy for them to reverse his shit. Oh, my God, Diddy. You, yo. Diddy. Diddy. Your time is ticking, boy. You and Reggie, Reggie Wright going to be in the same cell. Reggie Wright Jr. Y'all about to be sellies. Man. That, that, I'm telling you, Shine's having that. That's not a good look for Diddy, bro. That is not a good look for Diddy, bro. If you think they can't overturn that conviction, you got another thing coming. Diddy, you in trouble, brother. Like I told you last year, you was in trouble, brother. <laughs> 